Lloyd Sunglasses, Abe D. Jansu, now formerly Shades Abe D. Jansu. I've started my channel again. I've moved uh, from. Uh, what it's called? Sorry, my no notes are not visible. So I have moved from a row house to an apartment building. I'm really happy about it. Uh, the row house where I was living was uh, falling apart, and there was this schizophrenic guy who was like threatening me. So as a good Christian, yes, I'm. Christian, so uh, I moved uh, away. Uh, it's uh, on the New Testament that if a prophet is uh, like, uh, or a person who uh, like spreads the good word is uh, getting threatened on his own city, he should move to another city. But uh, I have just moved from central Finland to Lapland, so I'm not going to move us <laughs> to a different city. And on this city where I'm living, it's right next to the ocean. And well, I have like 10 minutes walk to the ocean. I'll take my camera there someday and show you. But uh, there are like uh, mol most uh, cheap apartments here. Although it doesn't matter at the time for me since I'm on like um, what's it called? It's called uh, I always forget this one. It's um, it's a retirement, but what kind? It's. Uh, Rehabilitation retirement for mental reasons. Uh, it was first since uh, for this uh, unknown eye disease. I got normal green eyes. Uh, well, it's not normal in Finland since we got 99% blue eyes. But my father was a uh, when he was younger like. Until the age of 18 or longer, he was a redhead. So, all my siblings have green eyes too. I have three siblings, I'm the eldest. But, uh, so I have unknown eye disease caused by astaxanthin, uh, just normal natural supplement. Didn't work with Finnish genes. We Finnish have like. Uh, uh, somewhat unique genes. We have unique genes. We are uh, most secluded people on the earth. You would think that it's some kind of tribe in uh, uh, like rainforest, but no, it's Finnish people. And we have like unknown and the, or diseases that don't uh, come to other people. Uh, so I am one of those guys who got those unknown, unknown Finnish only diseases. So that's why I will be keeping the glasses on. Uh, I am using a laser projector, and well, I have my no notes <laughs> blasted on a wall. I'm really happy about this apartment since this apartment has a like wall that it's that I can actually project the image and I like have a full wall of <laughs> notes <laughs> if you would see it but uh, I will I mostly do impro uh, but I have minor notes okay so uh, like I have four notes we have gone through two of them so what I am planning to do with this channel is the same thing that I plan to do with the first channel. Um, spread the message. I mean, how you're thinking uh, he's gonna say the good word of the Lord. Christian message, but yes, yes, but uh, there is more to it. I wasn't a Christian uh, like... Uh, 
I didn't come to conclusion that God exists and all Christianity is right. Even if uh, we are like raised to be Christian in Finland pretty much. My family, they are not like religious in a sense that they would uh, push it to me, but they are religious, they believe in Christianity in uh, various degrees. But um, still, uh, why I am Christian today is because I was occultist, uh, yeah, occultist before. Uh, I was occultist at the age of 18, and I practiced occultism for a year. And a three, three supernatural paranormal uh, phenomena happened to me during that year. And I am just now preparing to do this video. It will take an hour at least to tell you how uh, it all went. Last time I did the video, uh, I did it on the day my grandfather died. I actually was doing the video when the call came from my mother that your grandfather has died um, from my father's side. Uh, I never knew my uh, mother's side grandfather. He was in the Finnish Russian war in um, World War II and uh, well, he got wounded onto his pinky finger, so he ended up like uh, having like this looking pinky finger. Since it was shot off by a bullet from the Russian side, he had like um, what would you call them? Uh, like quick firing rifle. It's like a. Um, Pretty much a regular rifle, but you shoot it from prone position, and you have like a infinite mag. How you say? It's not an automatic rifle, but it has like a, a lot of ammunition. So the bullet. Uh, this is my grandfather paradox. The bullet hit his weapon, and well, his finger. And if the <laughs> bullet would have uh, not hit his weapon, I wouldn't be here talking to you. But I never met my uh, this grandfather, but I read uh, like notes uh, after the war. There were like notes that he had grenade shrapnels to his leg. My mother thinks that he never got hit by a grenade because he never talked about it. My grandfather died of cancer, and well, uh, cancer is really common these days. We have cancer in our family too, but uh, yeah, well, it's well known thing that grenades, shrapnels, if they are uh, stay in the body, they will cause cancer. So it's possible that that grenade shrapnel caused cancer, killed my other grandfather. So this particular grandfather from my father's side became a really important person for me. So when I was like starting to do this video about occultism, I had watched uh, a fellow Christian YouTuber uh, Wendy Goon's video where he confronted his fear of ocean at night, so it was pretty dangerous. So I thought that I would do the video then. After seeing that, conquering my fear, since I fear like that people are just thinking that you are crazy, you are a liar. Just a mad bastard. Uh, but, um, well, and the things, the three things that I'm about to tell you uh, on the next video uh, are like uh, 
from uh, well how would I say things how the, uh, the occultism things were you can't just like expose that okay occultism is real I did have physical evidence and that just makes it more uh, unbelievable since I lost the physical evidence like a red flag there guy claims that he had evidence but he lost it so uh, I would say if you play with uh, Satan and like the spirit world they cover their tracks you are not left with like uh, how would you say concrete evidence that you can throw at the general population but uh, when I started making the first video uh, like a year ago more than a year ago I got call from my mother that your grandfather has died and I quit the video and thought should I make this video and or like mourn for my grandfather who I love dearly so I kind of felt like a push on my shoulders I know it's corny but uh, I, I'm not like saying that ghosts exist I, s I say that like life after death exists I, I'm a Christian I believe in heaven and my grandfather was a Christian he went to heaven but uh, I felt like I got the blessings of my grandfather and I proceeded doing the video that lasted for an hour and I did it poorly. I, I didn't use any lighting since uh, I just didn't want to use the like yellow hue, uh, like lamp on the ceiling and I didn't get that you could use like your projector so that you just put the white background on the projector and it will be a light source. On this apartment there is a uh, great that we, I have like ceiling lights that are not yellow hued and uh, <clears throat> and I like wrapped shower curtains uh, like uh, over it uh, when I like but the tutorial video so the light is not too harsh so I'm really glad that this time I got the lighting right I did a, like do a edited version of the first video that was like almost like a criminal like uh, criminal uh, testimony when you're like in the complete dark and your uh, voice is distorted so your identity doesn't uh, be revealed and uh, I'm just, say, just saying the glasses are not for uh, any way to conceal my identity uh, I can be without them but uh, it's not healthy for me I, my right eye becomes sore from light and concentration and I will be in pain soon and I have pain medication for this like there it is this bandage medication and sedatives to keep the medication up well sedated so I cannot drink even if I wanted to but I'm a Christian so I take pride not in drinking but um let's stay on the topic I, I get lost in my words I have like HDHD on my family my youngest sister has HDHD my second youngest sibling my other sister has ADD her 
young son has HD, HD and my brother is, was it dyslexia when you are uh, reading disorder he, he had that in school but he doesn't want to go to the um, like uh, the psychiatrist to get the medication for HD, HD and neither do I since uh, I have enough medications already but uh, so I really even if I di- try to do this improvisation I I get lost in my trail of thoughts sometimes it's uh, <laughs> it's a good thing sometimes it's a bad thing now it's a bad thing for me since uh, I wanted to tell you something more about the occultism but I just forget what I was talking about no way to recover that so let's move to the last note that I have so I'm going to do a preparation for this uh, video this occultism video <coughs> is the reason why I am doing this channel, it's the whole reason uh, and of course that I turned to Christian after that so the spiritual spiritualism is the reason there isn't much to talk about spiritualism I won't preach uh, at least much and um, like just uh, <clears throat> I cannot tell the oh I, I I was talking about that I edited the video just putting a brightness to that original video where I did this uh, or occultism video so it's at least it's viewable uh, and not like a criminal confession um, but uh, so now when I will do this uh, occultism video I'm going to prepare for it it will be my third upload of this history and it will be my final I did uh, one video where I showed like the place where I trained uh, at the span of the year at my parents house I live like six hours from my parents Uh, and my mother is having her 60th uh, 60 years old birthday <laughs> yeah her 60th birthday I was going the right way with my English I'm fluent in English sometimes I just mess up with my wording so when I so I'm planning to go to the central of Finland from Lapland and uh, I thought that it would be nice not to make two videos about the same issue so I could uh, just take little bit footage from where I practiced it was mostly at my grandparents uh, uh, their basement <laughs> my mother's basement yeah one wine cellar that's never used so I practiced there and and uh, I would like to include that in the occultism video since I'm going uh, like next week's uh, Tuesday to uh, central Finland I can include it to the video and then I will make the occultism video like version 2 and you can call me a liar you can call me mad person but uh, yeah 
that's what I was expecting, that's why I didn't do a video about it, but when I got like my fa father, my grandfather backing me up with his death, you know, when you're doing an occultism video, you're not just posing, you're doing it on your grandfather's dying day. You either are like the worst liar ever, or you are so mad that you are not uh, not like just uh, you can't tell the difference from reality and what is like your imagination or just like uh, some kind of hallucinations, but. Uh, any kind of uh, mental disease doesn't be enough to explain my like uh, my experiences with the occult. So that's why to this day, like uh, from a young adult to middle-aged man, I have believed in. Uh, of cultism and I have been a like very loyal follower of Jesus Christ so and I have been given much from Christian God and I'm thankful for it and my main objective is also with these improvisations to try to channel the Holy Spirit Otherwise, I might uh, do this on segments, but uh, I'm pretty new to this. Uh, like I said, I have one year under my belt doing YouTube, uh, training to edit programs, training to do like background music, and well. I hope I will get better, I ain't going to stop. Both of my grandmothers without me, well, my other grandfather has passed away, another is like 90, 95 years old. So, both without knowing that each other had said this, they both said that Janne, my name is Janne, Janne is going to become a priest from a young age and I want to uh, like um, to say, I want to respect their uh, wish and their premonition and I am extremely religious extremely spiritual person so why not I might become like a internet priest or something but what I really want as a One Piece anime fan, as a person who uh, stole his nickname from Monkey, uh, Strawhead Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece, the main character, sunglasses, Ape D. Yanzo is like direct and stolen nick. Yanzo comes from my mother, he, it was his. Uh, her uh, nickname to me it was Jan Zubanzo, Jan Zubana, and the other was Sancho Panzo, basically rhymed with uh, Jan Zubanzo, but I guess he didn't know that uh, Sancho Panzo, <laughs> Sancho Panzo is uh, the like a really uh, famous character and the, in the like novel of the Don Quixote. It was the guy who carried the guns for Don Quixote. So he's choir, Mexican guy. But uh, well. Monkey D. Luffy was born in Windmill Village, <laughs> uh, so I guess I'm a little bit of a Don Quixote or uh, Sansa Panza at least myself. Uh, 
fighting against windmills. Well, you could say I'm fighting against windmills since I fully believe in my One Piece fantasy mindset that uh, Satan is controlling world government. And this is just a charade that we are all playing along with. And so what I, I am just suggesting in like uh, in place of it is I want to make myself a Christian king of the pirates. Yes. Just like Monkey D. Luffy in One Piece. I'm going to become the Christian king of the pirates. And then I will be the freest person on the oceans of the internet. And, well, I'm free to uh, <laughs> content me with on that. And be free to comment also. That would be nice. I know I'm talking about spicy topics, so. I, I am not shy about uh, commenting and like uh, and talking about this is actually I wish to cause uh, like some kind of like uh, conversations to happen that would be extremely nice. So I would extremely appreciate you commenting <laughs> so I can get to talk about this all but um this is the update I some classes say the youngs who have moved to a apartment and this is going to be the final uh, apartment uh, this is where I'm going to start Official YouTube uh, channel, the first one got age restricted because I used the grinder to make an eucalyptus leaf tea, and I ain't going to make that mistake again. So I'm playing by the YouTube's rules now. And we'll see where, where this channel goes, but uh, it's gonna take me a little bit while to uh, get to Central Finland on next week's uh, uh, Tuesday and uh, film there the uh, room where I practice of coaching and after I get back with the footage I will make tell the um, probably one hour story of me practicing of coaching with like the resource of the place where I train. So that's what's going to happen and after that it's up to God to give me uh, inspiration to do other kinds of videos. I play games so why not uh, like make videos about them. I don't own much games, I don't buy much games but uh, I s let's see if I can make a gaming video or two. So, but mostly if I get something to talk, I will do it. I try to refrain from doing reactive videos and I try to uh, do my own thing. This is kind of a strange situation for a YouTuber since I don't have a direction to go other than like get the knowledge about occultism out, get uh, get the word of Christ out and then achieve one piece which is uh, fame, uh, wealth and power and make a 
YouTube out of that. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So thank you for watching and I remind you please comment. I love to talk with people. So thank you. Goodbye.